role is very important. And Reverend Amos Kevin Anna has a whole book and a series on fatherhood and the importance of fathers to the upbringing of their children, especially girls. So my strength came from there. I was the one who was holding my father's carpenter's tools, uh, plumbing tools, painting tools, everything. So right now, I can paint, I can do plumbing, carpentry, I can fix this chair, I can do everything on my own. I don't need anybody to do that for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. I used to bubble my niece and my nephews, their hair, and they were shocked that I was able to do that. All that was because of the father I had. But let me switch to my mother and show you how I managed to make that transition. So my mother is a trader. She's tried everything, to selling everything in life. And I grew up in a house where I was selling banchi, kontome, momone. Imagine me carrying yam and cassava. And I walk from Temakomti 9 all the way to Temakomti 1 and then walk back. And they must know the distance. Tema Comti 9 to Comti 1 and back. Yantobia, my pem pem she shimmy rough. So there's a trick. Sometimes we, we hold it in a certain way. You know, the cash rate is here, but sometimes my pem pem she show. It's hurting because the pressure on your head over the long distance that you are holding it is such that you can't bear it anymore. So, and the thing too is heavy. So you carry it somehow on here. You get breathing. You see the scale. Because you're Toby. Now what's here? Musa banjo, banjo, bodio, bodio. And look at the upbringing I've had. Very tough, very difficult. But you know, I've survived. From my parents who was two children's home and all that, I've survived. And I'm working on radio, and people want to bully me. Charlie, imagine I'm a chef. So if you push me, I'll push back. If you ask me a tough question, I'll come back with a tougher question or a tougher answer. So that's how my transition was. Now my father died and something happened to me psychologically and mentally. And that just sprang up a new spirit in me. And that was what culminated into Vim Lady. So I'm the tough, I'm vociferous, crazy, loud people say, but in my private life, I'm quiet. I don't like noise. I don't mind anybody's business, and I drive quietly. No hard life is a waste of time. No hard life is a waste of time. In, in fact, the three people have this proverb that Because without that hard neck, you can't carry things. And life is full of pressures. And that is why if you take white children in the West, small thing, suicide. You see a rich man, yeah, nobody is talking to me, suicide. For the way, do you know the pressure we are facing here? We suicide. We are hustling on. We are soldiering on. There are women here who are single mothers. There are young people here who don't live with their parents. They live as mates with people, like how I was living with somebody as a maid in Laboni. But they are pushing. They are pressing on. They come back two minutes when they find small time, they are reading their books. That is the kind of message I will leave with you. That be tough. No hard life or tough life is a waste of time. Today you see that, oh, bread, but God is telling you a story. 